Good morning and welcome to the pilot sessions of training in the Gold Key release. I'm Lawrence Gold, developer of the process, and in this session I'll be taking you through the Gold Key release, showing you how to use it and when to use it. So the Gold Key release is a procedure that's used primarily to eliminate entrapment or entanglement in situations. And entrapment and entanglement happen when attention gets trapped or captured in whatever event. And that state of being captured leads to a sense of being overwhelmed by it and absorbed in the event rather than in a free disposition. The procedure itself dissolves the binding quality of experiences restoring free attention. And what free attention feels like is the ability to move yourself freely into and out of experiences and to regulate your responses to those experiences without much effort. If there's effort, there's entanglement. So this procedure takes us on a tour through the four fundamental expressions of intelligence. They are fundamental and underlie all forms of intelligence. And those four are attention, intention, memory, and imagination. Integrity, integrity, feeling, feeling, integrity. Is it more? less, the same, or gone. Slightly less. Okay. Take what's left. Feel having it. Is it more, less, the same, or gone? It's still the same. Is it more, less, the same, or gone? It's, uh, it's gone. I couldn't remember it. Okay. There you go. Now you have a, dis a definitive experience of what a good outcome is. And it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. You didn't need to think about it. No. Right. There is also, towards the end, of feeling creeping up of anticipation. Yeah. Right. A, a little, would you characterize that as like a jet assist? Yes. Right. So, but again, I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I want to hear what you say. No, I, again, I couldn't find it. So that's what we call space. Okay. And into that space, it's a lot easier to do something new. Uh. It's typical for the gold key release to work in one to three passes on items that are more buried in unconsciousness, that are subconscious. It takes more passes to unearth them. And that's why there's repetition sometimes. It is a, a multiple cycles of the gold key release. So. It's as simple as that. Take what you get, let it go. And each time we recognize one of our habitual stress patterns and clean it up, we become lighter. We become more fluid in life. Our sense of humor returns. Our creativity is enhanced. Insights emerge faster just by progressively cleaning up the stuff that people typically live in on this planet. The planet, this is a planet of opposition, mostly. And opposition leaves us entangled in opposition, which is not pleasant. Whereas if we wipe out both sides, both the item and the opposition, as you found, it's hard to remember what the thing was. Yes. It takes a special effort 
And sometimes even then it's hard, you can't bring it up anymore because it's plain gone. What's left in place is the natural state, which most people have never experienced consciously. It's, if they get, <laughs> if they have a good meditation or they have a good night's sleep, they've had maybe a, a taste of it from a bit of a distance. But as this process occurs, as, as we use it, there's a shift that occurs. That it, it's a progressive, it's a progressive change. Mm -hmm. So you saw, you felt how when you ain't making progress, look at what's in the way of making progress and clean that up and then go after your original item. Okay. Okay. So that's one way of going about it. The other way of going about it is to choose the opposite of the thing that's in your way. Mm. And gold key release that. So let's say we're, we're dealing with, oh, say self doubt, since that's what comes to mind easily enough. You'd say, oh, self assurance. What happens if I dissolve self assurance? Mm. You know, you know what will happen if you dissolve self assurance? You'll dissolve everything that self assurance brings up in you, such as doubt. No. Oh, okay. See? So you can choose to dissolve the evil item, or you can choose, choose to dissolve the savior from the evil item. When a person's really in the soup, it's more attractive to go after the trouble spot. Mm -hmm. When a person's done this enough times that they know, oh yeah, I get what's up here, and they go after the savior, the desired outcome, we end up doing two things. We dissolve the interferences and we cultivate the thing that we desire because we put our attention on it.